Amanda Abington has made headlines once again, this time revealing that she hosted an emotional gathering with her fellow Strictly Come Dancing contestants. They shared their experiences, wept together, and spoke of mistreatment by professional dancer Giovanni Pernis. But this story isn't over yet. Today, we'll dive into the shocking claims, the BBC's response, and Amanda's next steps in her fight for justice. In a candid interview with Newsnight, Amanda Abington, known for her role in Sherlock, revealed the emotional toll her time on Strictly Come Dancing took on her. She shared that after a difficult and contentious experience working with professional dancer Giovanni Pernitz, she gathered other former contestants in her own home. What followed was an emotional summit where they swapped stories of mistreatment. As Amanda put it, we all cried, we all burst into tears. The gathering wasn't just a vending session, but a moment of solidarity, where the contestants confirmed that they weren't alone in feeling the pressure and distress from their time with Pernis. Amanda's complaints against Pernis have sparked a media storm, and the BBC's six-month investigation cost upwards of £250,000. Out of the 17 complaints she filed, six were upheld, including claims that Pernis used belittling language and swore at her during rehearsals. One particular comment that stood out was when Prentice told Amanda, you have talent and you're not using it, which the BBC panel found to be excessively harsh and unprofessional. In another incident, he reportedly became frustrated and said, if you want to look, I don't care. More troubling were allegations of a sexual nature. Pernice allegedly made inappropriate comments, including grabbing his crotch and uttering a lewd remark during rehearsals. Amanda claims that her complaints about these instances weren't taken lightly, nor were they easy to file. In her Newsnight interview, she explained, I have worked 32 years as an actress. I don't ever make accusations lightly. Despite the gravity of the allegations, the BBC only upheld a few, and the most serious ones, like accusations of physical aggression, were dismissed. Amanda, however, believes there are reasons why some of her complaints weren't upheld. She expressed frustration over the outcome, even though the BBC did apologize and acknowledge her courage in coming forward. Amanda also touched on how this ordeal has deeply affected her. She described this past year as one of the worst years of her life, dealing with not just the fallout from her complaints, but also the backlash from the public. Being labeled a liar and troublemaker has only compounded the emotional strain. Her decision to seek legal guidance is ongoing, with her lawyer advising her on how to move forward with possible further action against the BBC. She feels that the systemic issues within the show need addressing, and this could just be the beginning of her fight for accountability. On the other side, Giovanni Pernis expressed relief that the most serious allegations were dismissed. He told the Mail that this has been an extremely difficult year and is now focusing on his career in Italy, specifically on Dancing with the Stars. He thanked his supporters, saying he wouldn't have made it through without their love and belief. Still, his image has been tarnished, and the conversation about bullying, harassment, and proper treatment within reality TV shows like Strictly Come Dancing remains as relevant as ever. Amanda's revelations have prompted broader discussions about how celebrities are treated on reality shows and whether more safeguards should be in place. With 6 out of 17 complaints upheld, some argue it's a partial victory for Amanda. But she doesn't seem satisfied, and the question remains, will her fight for justice continue, and will it spark larger changes at the BBC? Amanda Abington's battle with Strictly isn't over yet. Her emotional journey, the group of contestants she brought together, and her ongoing legal actions raise serious questions about accountability in the entertainment industry. What will happen next? Only time will tell. If this story resonates with you, hit that like button, subscribe for updates, and let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Should the BBC have done more, and will Amanda's courage inspire others to speak out? Thanks for watching the fame journey. Until next time, take care.